In this addition to the Quick Start series, we show you how to prepare a Mirage V set in 3D Max. How do you do it, you boys and girls? It's Wayne Robson here. Uh, we're back in 3D Max again. This time the subject is mirrored UV sets. Um, well, there's a few ways of doing this. Okay, uh, This is my way of doing it and uh, to me it makes more sense and you get much better quality maps out at the end of it. It's easy to handle. This character is something I did for a client a long, 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 long time ago. Um, it was some work that, we, that I did with Lance Southern. Now we've got some UVs on it. Um, they were a quick job. Let's bring them into view. Uh, not the world's best. Um, there's a few issues there that I would want to have to solve before I brought it into Mudbox. Now, it seems a good time I need to cover this. Uh, that would give me an, a problem there. This overpaint uh, between, you know, it overpaints over each particular island. Uh, that's too close together. So that we'd want to uh, redo that one. Up here, again, we have UVs that are crossed over. Okay, we're going to ignore those for the moment, okay, because this was not meant to be displaced mapped or normal mapped. Um, it's just the first model I came across. Now, setting up some mirrored UVs, um, first thing I'm going to want to do is I'll stick its faces on and I'll change the colour of this to black because I prefer that colour. So it looks sort of groovy, you know. Alright, now here we go. Go to edit poly and I want to select this entire side of the model, which will help me select properly. There you go. Now, the first thing we want to do is give it a quick visual check. Yep, that seems fine. Always look at the crotch, not because you're a pervert, because that's usually the area that uh, something will select in the wrong place. There's a bit of missed off there. And I'll just quickly delete that. Okay. So we have our half model. If we look at our unwrap modifier now, I just unselect the polys because that's bad doing it like that. And there you go, that's the UVs we have at the moment. So let's just quickly take those and um, we'll pack the UVs, um, do it recursive. Da -dum -da -dum. There you go. Not the world's best UVs. Um, automatic padding never is. So the first thing I'm going to do, even though I'm not actually going to be using this at all, um, is just move some of these away from the edges. In fact, if I use select element, or select elephant as I like to call it, because I am a little bit weird, I wonder if I'm the only person that makes up funny names for things. You know, I get the impression that I am. As you can see, as I mentioned before, the UVs are pretty shocking on this. The head is way too small. Uh, the UVs weren't mine in my defence, right? These aren't my UVs. I don't UV map like this. Right. So there we go. That's the UVs uh, we're going to use for mirrored UVs. Let's assume that you've spent ages setting this out. Okay. So let's next add a simply modifier. I type the first two letters. It'll automatically highlight it for me. There you go. Lovely. Sorted. Now. What I also need to do is I'll just add another unwrap. All right. Right now, everything is overlaid. You could use it like that in Mudbox, but my bet is uh, for some models, you'll get issues. Nothing to do with Mudbox is to do with the fact that you are overlaying two sets of UVs. So the rays are going to cast, and then they're going to cast again. Um, and that is a recipe for disaster. So how do you do it? I'll show you. Now, first thing I want to do here is go back into my top view. I'm going to select faces and then just select all those. And once again, we want to see if we select them all. And we haven't. I'll tell you why. Because we've got ignore back facing on. That's actually a bit of a, a bit of a catch. That one there. <laughs> ignore back facing. A lot of time, it's caught me out. Um, it's just one of those things, you know, that you um, you don't often look for. So let, I'll just do my visual check again. I do find it a little bit slow on the rotate when I'm doing it this because it's got a lot of stuff to work out. Okay. Now I go back into here and we have all these selected. Okay. If I change this here, I can move these exactly one unit to the right. So now we have two UV tiles. I'll try and highlight these so you can see them because I know it's difficult at a small screen screen resolution. So you've got a leg there. There's a leg there. You know, I'm not sure what the hell that is. That's part of the body and 
uh, in the uh, no, that's an arm, that's a leg, so you see what I mean, bad UVs, right? Um, so why are you going to need this? Simple version is you don't, right? Most game engines will ignore the second tile completely, right? So what you do in Woodbox is you sculpt away, you make him look lovely, um, you generate your normal maps, it'll generate two tiles, okay? Junk the second one. Apply your first tile, which would be over this section here, in your material, the entire model. Problem solved. It'll automatically move the tiles from over here into the first UV space, okay? That's the way it works in 99% of the engines. I don't know an engine that actually automatically would do it the other way around. If there is, please feel free to correct me, you know, I'm not the all-seeing eye. So there you go. Uh, that's what you want to do. So you've got all that sorted out. It's all moved across. So I'd junk the turbo smooth. I would then Collapse all this off, go in and open this up. I can't remember what the hell I'm doing. That's right, I'm resetting the X form. Reset selected, export out. Jobs are good as my mate would say. And there you go. You can now generate your maps, mirrored UVs, you can use mirrored displacement maps, um, mirrored normal maps, mirrored anything maps, um, which obviously saves texture space. Now, for game guys, this is way over the top, you know, for a game, really, uh, for what's there. Um, if you need to the triangle count, by the way, as I'm here, um, all you've got to do is go to, and um, where's the statistics? There it is. Just add your triangle count in. And there you go. So you can see there's 8,500 tries there. Way too much for that for what's there. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> that's how you do it. If I seem a bit um and er tonight, it's because I've had a day from hell, absolute day from hell. Everything that can go wrong has went wrong. So. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.